Get ready for algebra number nine, reciprocals. Do you remember last year we learned that a fraction can equal one when the numerator and denominator are the same? Well, three thirds means something is cut into three parts and we have all three parts. One third plus one third plus one third equals three thirds. We have the whole rectangle. We have all the parts. So even though it's cut into the three parts, we still have the whole thing. We have one. So remember, any time a numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction equals one. Well, that's when a reciprocal can help us in algebra. A reciprocal is an upside down version of a fraction. Three fourths has a reciprocal of four thirds. One half has a reciprocal of two over one. See how it's just the upside down version of the fraction? Two thirds has a reciprocal of three halves. Seven sixteenths has a reciprocal of 16 sevenths. It's just flipped upside down, isn't it? Get it? That's a reciprocal. So do you remember what a coefficient is? Do you remember a coefficient is the number in front of a variable? And if that variable ever left, then he would just be a standalone number. He'd be nothing. He would just be a lonely number. So sometimes we can have a fraction as a coefficient. Sometimes there's a fraction in front of a variable. It's a fraction coefficient. If the variable left, he would just be a regular fraction. But because that variable is there, he's a fraction coefficient. And if we flip him upside down, we have his reciprocal. See? The one was the numerator, now the one is the denominator. We turned him upside down, didn't we? That's his reciprocal. So, when we're trying to eliminate a fraction from an algebraic equation, you know, to get the variable alone, and to figure out the value of the variable, we can multiply each side of the equation by the fraction coefficient's reciprocal. It'll create a one in front of the variable, and then we can solve the equation. So watch. If this is the problem we're given, half x equals four, all we have to do is multiply each side of this equal sign by the reciprocal of half. Then that would flip it upside down to the two over one. See? It's its upside down self. And we do it to each side of the equal sign because it's like an, an equation is like a scale and we don't want one side to be heavier than the other. We have to do the same thing on this side that we do on this side, okay? So if we multiply this by the reciprocal to get this x alone, we have to multiply this side by the reciprocal. So we do. And two times one is two and one times two is two, and we create two over two. Look at that, it made a one. And then on this side, we do four times two is eight, and the one slides over, we have eight over one as an improper fraction. Well now all we need to do is simplify. This equals one. And we don't write the one in front of the variables, it stays invisible. There's an invisible one in front of, an, of, of a standalone variable. Eight over one equals eight, so, we can see there's one x there. We don't need a one in front of it. So it's usually not written. So now x equals eight. Now we know that x equals eight. It's thanks to the reciprocal. See, he helped us. So you're gonna be doing this in math, in algebra. And now you understand the importance of the reciprocal and how much it can help us. And you'll be doing this a lot. And you'll see, you'll get really quick at it and you won't even think about how you're using the reciprocal. All right, just an upside down fraction, okay? I'll see you next video, and keep your chin up, you're gonna be fine. Bye.